Okay, gang, I'm going to uh, show you how to upload phone numbers into Mojo. So phone numbers, as you know, are in the Drive, the Google Drive folder. We're going to double-click on the phone numbers here. And I'm going to download the 92107, just because I know I don't have those in there. And there's the file. So now you want to get this down to your computer. So I'm going to right-click on it and say Download. I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. But you'll download it. You have to remember where you put it. Um, so once you've done that, you're then going to go over to and open that file so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to open that up. And you'll see that there is the Excel spreadsheet. You want to make sure that you have everything in here that you need, namely name, address, city, state, zip code, and most importantly, the phone number, okay? All of yours will be on the do not call, or will be okay to call because none of them are on the do not call list. That's one of the things about having me provide it to you. I always make sure that they're properly scrubbed. So we now know that the data file is okay. So we're going to go back over to our um, mojo. Here's my mojo, and I'm going to go over to Import File. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to choose that file. So I'm going to got to I got to go find that folder. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I think I. Okay, yeah. So upload. I got to find that folder, that file. So now I got to remember where it was again. Sorry, um, I had this open earlier. Oh, I know where it is. Here, hold on. See, remember when I said you got to remember where they where you where you saved it. So it's in uh, phone numbers and 92107. There's the file. I'm, gonna, I'm just double clicking on these. So now it's selected it, and I'm going to say next step. And now I got to decide where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it somewhere over here in a calling list. So I don't think I have 92107. I do not. So I'm going to add. 92107. I'm going to say Save. I don't need to add it to a group, or I don't need to tell it the source. I can if I want, but doesn't matter. I do have to tell them that I'm the manager for this file. I'm going to say Next. So now it's going to look at what it thinks. The, this is called mapping. It thinks that the first name is in that file, that column named first name. And if we go down here, we can actually see what that Excel spreadsheet looks like. So we can see, yep, first name is correct, last name is correct, and make sure that all these pair up, okay? All right, so we got the first name, last name, address, city. We don't have the state. Now, one of the students the other day mentioned that they could not use the Google Map feature or Zillow, I believe, feature within Mojo because it did not have the state. So when they imported it, they missed this. So you want to make sure you have all of that information in there and the phone number. And then if they have anything else, you know, you want to make sure that it's paired up. Sometimes these will come with uh, email addresses. So if you want to import that, you would select email. This particular list does not. Either we're also going to do is we're going to have a, a check for duplicates within Mojo system already. So let's say that in that list of 92107s, there was an expired listing, and you subscribe to expired listings. It would say, hey, that phone number that you're trying to upload, we already have it in the database, and it'll ask you what you want it to do with that. And what it'll do is it'll say, do you want to keep the old number, which is usually what you want to do because I want to keep them over and that expired so I call them, or do you want to merge them, or do you want to delete that one and import the new one? Usually you want to do what they recommend, which is import the old one. I'm sorry, leave the old one in place and don't import the new one, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can, before you hit the next, you can save this as an import template. So you can come in here and say, you know, in this case, I might want to overwrite it and say it's a, um, what were we doing from Cole's data, right? 
So you might just say, hey, save a new one called cold data, whatever, and say create new. Or you could do what I just did, which was overwrite one of these, and then say save. And then it'll save it for future reference. I'm not going to do that now because I've already got these saved. So for example, I'm going to show you my Cole's data form and what that looks like. It has a first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip code. And it does not have the phone number, so I need to tell it where the phone number is. Phone. Okay. I don't know why that didn't work before, but okay. So now I'm going to want to save that import template and I'm going to want to save it as Cole's data. So now the next time I import one, all I got to do is make sure I use that one to import it. Hope that's clear. So now I'm going to say next. And now it's going to search. And it takes a little bit of time. There's only, uh, so apparently there's a big queue today. Woo, there we go. We're done. By the way, you, I, I think, I'm, hopefully I edited this out, but that was like five minutes. That was crazy. So now what we're doing is it's showing us again that this is how the mapping is, and we need if, if it's not the way we want, we have to remap it. I'm not clicking that. Mojo will scrub duplicates on your spreadsheet with records already existing within your account. So it's going to import 68. What the heck is that? Is that all that there were? I'm, I'm going to real quick look at that. Sixty-eight. Holy cow. Well, that's just pathetic. So, okay, let's go back. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. We are going to go back to this. And now we're going to finish the import. And once again, oh, wow, look at that. That was actually fast. Okay, so now here we are. We're 92107, and it's imported all that information just like I liked it. Okay, so it's got the name, address, zip code. And so now let's say I pull this guy up. And now if I click on the Google Maps, it can find it. See how it knows where it is. And I can see if he's on Zillow or if he ever was, whatever. See what Zillow thinks about this. And see what they find. Okay, so whatever this is. It looks like it's an apartment building. Interesting, okay. So it doesn't have a, a, an address or a unit number for him, so I don't know what's what's up with that. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you while I'm here, you see these column headers. And so it's got, uh, these These are like how I like to have them when I'm just cold calling, is how many attempts, the last attempt, last result, et cetera, et cetera. I can change those by clicking on my name and going to settings, and then going to data management data columns, manage columns. And so these are the ones that are displayed. So let's say, for example, I wanted the agent remarks in there. So again, I'm calling expireds. So I'm going to say save. And I'm going to go back out to my data. And now you'll see agent remarks are in here. And that's going to be standard for all of these. Doesn't matter which one I pick. It's going to, it's a global setting. So it's going to add that to all of mine. So occasionally I have to come in here and change them depending on what my calling process is. So that's it. Hope that helps. And um, 